presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. This is a great card. It is always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions unto you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 74. NASDAQ's up 41. S&P's down 1.5. Gold contract up uh, $34, trading at 18.10, 40 an ounce. We have silver up 29 cents, $20.18. Cents. Platinum's up 39, 8 928. Light sweet crude, just the opposite way, man. Pretty wild, and particularly uh, when you get the dollar going down, uh, this is uh, that's that's deviant, man. Uh, oil's down 227, 8839. Notes and bonds, this is just as deviant. Notes and bonds continue to go to higher price. You get the 10 year up 21, 6, 120, 24. 30 year up 29 at 143, 24. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now is trading. Where are you, man? There you go. Down 777 ticks at 105.729. The euro is at 102. The yen's at 132. And the British pound is trading at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, when I just did that update, you know, bottom line, folks, is that when they, when the Dollars down this much. I mean, I know we've had a you know basically you know a pretty good week here. Um, that being said, man, this dollar you know down this much, this this market shouldn't have had a problem. You know, this spy blowing through this 417. We made it to 41509. You know, so you know we'll see what happens with the jobs number tomorrow morning. But what we have right now is that you got a sideways market that's trying to get over the June 1st level. That's in the SPY, okay? If we go take a look at the Qs, now the Qs are a different story, man. The Qs, they're taking a break. That being said, though, what's happening with the Qs, they, they're, they're already launched, man. They're, 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 the Qs are looking to go to 330. And right now you're at 324. We made it to 324.52 today. Uh, what we will have, we'll have a slight contraction of volume but the volume still should be pretty good. We should be running about 40, 45 million shares. Gold, gold contract caught the bid out here. We take a look at gold. Bottom line, you're at 1,810. You've done um, 142,000 contracts. Not bad, not great. Uh, it's taken out a B point, but the B point we had 174,000, I think. Let me put this up. It was either 172,000 or 174. Let's see. 174,000 contracts. We're at 142. So what happens there, the bottom line, you don't have a ABC up, but I suspect that this thing is heading now. We're at 1810. Uh, bottom line, it's going to head for the swing point of 1900. That's how this is set up right now. So pretty cool. Notes and bonds. Now look at this, man. This is something else. Okay. So we... Go to the 10 year note first. And the 10 year note right now is back over the B point. There it is. We rejected lower price yesterday. So what we did yesterday is this. Yesterday you got down to the price point of 119.10. 
You did 1.8 million contracts going into 1.99. Bottom line, the number to keep your eye on is that, yeah, that 12016, we're back over it again. That's saying 124 is coming at us, man, which is just so deviant, it's unbelievable. But the bottom line, that's how it's set up. And we are at 2.67 inside of the 10 year. Now, let's go into this dollar, because the dollar, you know, this bottom line out here today is that, you know, it's giving it up on price. You know, the benchmark on the dollar is this 106,792. That's the higher range. Um, you know, we'll see how it handles. Uh, it looks to me like it's going to go right back down to this 105. And the kicker, this is the kicker here. Let's do this. This dollar has actually broken the whole trend. And, okay, and then it... It saved itself. That's what it did. But now let me do this again. Let me do this a different way. Not a different way. I'll, I'll show you. Because one trend is, is broken. This, the second one, you know, bottom line, the trend, the trend that's broken goes from the 101 area. That, that's pretty clear. Is that 101? Yeah, it's 101. 101, 296. Okay, that, that one's broken. The harder one is that, like, that you can actually bring it all the way down, and you're going to see... We actually, well, we never broke it. It came right to it. That one there starts back at uh, 95. So that's really intriguing, man, because if, you know, if we get another wide price spread down day in the dollar, bottom line, that's how that would be set up, that you would bust that, uh, bust that out. That's, uh, that's the bottom line. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And... Um, so you get advanced micro up six and a half dollars, six dollars. Coinbase is up eight dollars. You get uh, Black Stone or Black Rock, one more, one, Black Rock. Uh, they're gonna start doing some business in that, on that platform with them. So that's pretty wild. Uh, you get Nvidia up uh, three fifty. Um, Occidental's off two fifty. Oh, let's go over that oil market, man. CL. Let me see this thing. So active oil contract. Okay, so we take a look at this. You get 308,000 contracts. You're breaking the swing. You get volume on the break, man. This is ABC down. This is going to get interesting, man. Uh, let's watch this shake out, man. Okay, so you almost got 111 to 88, you get uh, 23, would get you somewhere down around 78. Yeah, this thing is game, man. This is game is down, uh, yeah, that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna take some heat off the, uh, um, you know, the fuel. There's, there's no doubt about that, man. I mean, that's how, that's how it's set up. Uh, what's so intriguing here, is that you get a double banger. What I mean by that is this, is that when you have oil, uh, the dollar coming down, oil should be, should be going up. Now, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 40. NASDAQ's up 58. S&Ps are up three. We're coming right back. of looming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 33. NASDAQ is up 63. S&Ps are up 3.5. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the bottom line, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, he is going to be doing a live webinar. And you can get into this webinar very easy. It's going to be uh, a week from yesterday, August 10th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. As you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see it right under the featured content. You just hit that live webinar. Uh, the webinar, folks, is $295. What you get for that, of course, is you're going to get some great education um, of five hours flat out with Basil. If you can't make it personally that from 9 o'clock till 2 in the afternoon, it's archived. That's only the beginning, though, because you get his whole newsletter the whole month plus he has approximately 11 other archives on this so you're going to understand how to ride that wave each and every day so check it out on the front page of tfnn right under featured content basil chapman what's going on what's going on is that this market is bumping into resistance and we're going to see how it deals with it and the the webinar actually is really nicely timed in the sense that I think by midweek next week we're going to get a really good sense of whether the market needs another breather meaning a five to seven day uh, hiatus where it just kind of digests all these gains or whether it's able to break out but you know in the Chapman Wave methodology I'll just show this right now because it's exactly what we'll be doing okay we look for the I uh, try to identify the lowest low bar that can start off a move to the upside the various techniques that we use for that and then we just merely count each successively higher peak. It can go all the way from A to B, C, D, E, F, and even G. But it's really the objective in the Chapman Wave. And this is what we practice all the time. I've been doing it in all of my shows. I've been doing it on the one-minute chart. But this pertains to monthly charts, weekly charts. It doesn't really matter. The principle is the same that when you have accelerated to the fourth highest peak, peak D, other things can happen. Well, what did we see right here? We've been along the the Dow for since the low of the of uh, the 17th of June. We've been buying the diamonds, and right now the Dow is has made that fourth highest peak, peak D. And I talk about just a few candles. Some of them are my own invention, called the ones the Roman candle, Chapman Wave Roman candle. The others as well, but the Doji candle at a D 
or at a bottom like it was right here in this trough on the 17th of June, for me are really important signs to say that maybe the buying or the selling is dissipated and now you get a reversal of trend or it means it's a continuation pattern. So what's happened is right here on this daily chart, that's a daily on the left, uh, weekly in the middle, monthly on the right, we've stopped at that doji and this is the third session since then. And look, it hasn't been able to break above. There's a, a particular moving average I talk about a lot. When it comes into focus, I don't never need it when it's not there. But that's the 200 period moving average, so the whole area of 13,100 on the Dow. That's going to be very important to break. So I talk about how you can include. You can have the naked chart. Let me just see if I can get that right now. There's a naked chart. And then I, I talk about adding various things. I'll show this right here. You can see on the left. There's this is one chart and it's got very little on it. I've added some things just as demonstrations and then I've added the MACD and then I've added the stochastic and then the nine period and 14 period moving averages and I go right through to this last one and once you can see that from the bear chart and we'll be looking at patterns that repeat just basically three patterns straight up straight down or the arch or the cup formation you can start building your 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 thesis for your um, for your trading right. based on just those patterns. So um, most importantly, in the work that we've done for my subscribers, we have a couple of positions that have got 30 and 40 percent gain since the low. We've uh, taken a little bit of a loss in some, but mostly the gains are really outweighed the uh, the gains. And it's just using these particular techniques and I show subscribers to my opening call and of course any attendees will get a month free of my opening call. But they'll also get the webinar. So what I've done, and this has taken me a little time over this week, I've tried to refine it so that I'm, I've now got the rules of the Chapman Wave. I've just codified it to just a couple of pages, just a heading and then a description so that you don't have to go through this whole litany of stuff because I've tried to refine it to the point where it's visually easy to see, it's very descriptive, and we'll just go straight into to the patterns. And um, I, I'll just show you, this is the, the, the daily pattern. I was discussing this earlier on. I showed this cup formation right here. This is the one-minute E-mini, the peak D, doji candle on the top. Pulls back, comes around again, starts another move, and I've drawn this. What is this? This is the one at 1, one o'clock. This is after my show. But the pattern's been the same. Equal number of bars on the left to the number of bars on the right that gets to resistance. It's, it's the same on the downside, the upside, and especially when you're in a rectangle formation, you can it lasts a lot longer than your patience. I'll be teaching about how if you can identify a rectangle formation, it's a it's a very um, it's it's good to step back from that because all that's going to happen is it goes to the top of the range and then it pulls back and then it goes to the top of the range. Is that, that a concern. one day that I'm looking at right now or two day? This right now it's a one minute chart. That's, oh, I got it. It's a one minute it's, from today. Okay, cool. I got it's, it. Okay. It's today. It's an E mini one minute chart. Yep. Yeah. It's very. This is current right now. It went to PE. Right. Now it's pulling back. Right. But look, I'd already drawn in the pattern of the matching time yeah. frames. And what's so fascinating? Look, I'm going to jump to this. You can't really tell the difference between a one minute uh, and a and a, a daily. The charts. They go up and they go down. They do exactly the same things because it's just a fractal of human nature. Sure. So I've tried to make it as well-defined as possible. We'll start off with a blank chart. We'll start adding all the notation and we'll, we'll go. And the whole idea here is to how do I enter? Where do I enter? How, where would I add to the position? Where would I start taking off? For instance, we've got three times long positions in some of the ETFs. These are these are trading vehicles. So even though we got almost the bottom, I'm still taking a little bit off because when they start going sideways, they will shrink very quickly. So you've got to know how and what you're trading. I did. Uh, someone asked me this morning, would I look at the Apple chart? Well, I looked at the Apple chart and I did a one-minute chart, and it did. There was no. I don't know if I've still got it. I'll show it right now. Yes, there it is. There's the Apple chart. It was during my show, and I said it's making a beautiful, there it is, a beautiful cup formation. This is a one-minute chart, goes to a peak E, starts pulling back, and then it goes in the same number of bars. It goes to the resistance at the 200-period exponential moving average, and you can see that 200-period moving average 
was resistance all the way until about one o'clock. Then it pulled back, and then what did it do? It made another big arch formation. And turned, so you could do it with any position that you want. It's the same principle. And I was so pleased that she asked about the uh, Apple charts. I said, yes, the one-minute chart. It's the same. Yes, the same pattern. So it's an education, and you can use the uh, v videos. The uh, you can the archive is there. So if you can, you miss the day, you can go over it. Even when you're there, you'll be able to later on just go over it as many times as you want. Yeah, it's and folks, exciting. it's a great education when Basil shows you his magic nine period. You know, line, let me tell you something, man. You're going to love it. Come over to our website at TFNN. It's right under featured content. You hit that su subscribe button. Bottom line, you're going to be in this workshop next week. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much. You Thank you. Talk. Stay right there, folks. If you want to right take back. advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 40. You get the NASDAQ up 56. S&P's uh, up one and a half. So let's get into this gold market. We get a lot of questions that, uh, you know, do you think well, this thing's ever going to get off the lows? So let's go look at a few of the equities first, okay? So when you do something like this, folks, right? If you know the sector, what you should normally do is go to the weakest stocks first in the sector. The reason being, if the weakest stocks are starting to get some juice, the bottom line is that your probability is going to be higher, that you're going to be correct in your assessment of where it wants to go. So the first place we're going to go is Newmont, right? Newmont, Barrick, we know both of them have been weak in an extraordinary way. Uh, bottom line, with Newmont, not much. It's only up a buck, okay? That's not cool. You know, for, for what's happening out here. We go to Barrick. We take a look at Barrick. A little bit better. Barrick's a little bit better. Okay, now let's go to an Eco Eagle. Okay, now we're just, uh, we, those are the two largest weightings. The reason I went there first is that they've been the weakest stocks. And on top of that, they're the two largest weightings inside of the 
XAU, the HUI, as well as the GDX, okay? An Eco Eagle, not a lot there either, even though you know, you're up, up a buck 40, okay? Bottom line, not there. Okay, so then next, okay? If you're in this sector, then next you should go to the streamers. The streamers would be Royal Gold, Franco Nevada. Those are the two biggest streamers out here. You take a look at Royal Gold. Now, this is... I'm not quite sure why Royal Gold went all the way down to 68 today. I mean, uh, 68, 98, but it did. It rejected lower price, okay? So that's not great. It's not bad, but it's not great. That's how that comes out. Okay, so now let's go to FNV. We take a look at FNV and we say, we look at FNV and say, okay, what's FNV doing? Bottom line, that's starting to go topside. Okay, so now... Let's go over to the GDX. Why the GDX? Okay, so we know that you have the XAU. I mean, uh, we have Newmont and Barrick a week. So if the XAU, I mean, if the GDX had something going for it, you know, it would be pretty good. Well, it's up a buck. Same deal, though. It's like, okay, man, you're coming into 28 million. You've done 18, you know. Not a lot of encouragement, I can tell you that. That's, that's where that's coming to. Now, let's go to Anglo Ashanti. We take a look at Anglo. You know, bottom line, Anglo is trading out at $14.5. That's not bad. $2.5 million, but yet, you know, we came down to 4.3. So I would say to answer your question, when you look at that many equities, these equities have not caught a real bid yet. That's, that's the reality, you know. Now, let's go look at some of the... Um, Silvers, okay, because you know silver. Silver is always highly volatile. Uh, silver, different ball game. Now check it out, okay. So you got Pan American silver, and that's going to be at ABC up, I think. Let's see, twenty seventy two. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an ABC up. Yeah. So this is going to be cool. Let's why I see how this shakes out. Twenty. It's going to be close. Twenty. Yeah, eighteen is two bucks. That's 21.65. Let's go take a look at a few more of these silvers. So what it's saying here, that the way this is shaking out here, that's, that's what this is saying, that uh, the bottom line is that, oh, look at Hecla though. Hecla must come out with numbers. Let me see what happens with Hecla. Okay, so at Hecla, Hecla's down. Oh, no, I got the wrong one. Thank God. My God, what the heck? Okay, I had Hewitt pack it up. Um, Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, man. So, okay. So, now this is really cool. Okay. So, because what you have here now is this. Okay. Heckler's and ABC up, man. I mean, in a big way. So, we get 457. It's not quite a buck. It's going to get you to five bucks. You're at 479. Uh, let's go EXK. So silver leading is okay, man. That's the bottom line. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Uh, the EXK is going to be the same thing, too. It's going to be another ABC up. Yeah, this is good, man. We might get an ABC market, 372. That's a big one, man. Oh, this is a good one. That's four and a quarter. Where's the swing? 418. So the NC, okay, <laughs> you got to love this one is divergence, right? Meaning that, you know, when we just, what it, we just did there so and this is cool man uh, so the exercise that we just did there right is that first we went to the goals right and they didn't look that great you know all right but not really that great particularly because we've been basing for so long okay they just happened to get out of the way that being said we went to the silvers the silvers are moving that is a great indication that bottom line we may continue to get an acceleration and I suspect what we have out here right now, where, where you know, when I did the update and um, started the program, this is unusual, man. Uh, I can understand it. I mean, and I'm, I'm back to the S&P. I can understand it because we've had such an acceleration up that the market has to take a break. What is concerning is that when you hit the dollar down, where is she? Yeah, we're down 800 ticks. That's almost a penny. A thousand ticks is a penny. That's how this works in the dollar, right? Um, that this market, you know, should have got more breathing room. 
So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if it's just going to wait for those numbers tomorrow, whatever the numbers come out, you know, and see if it can break topside, or is it going to continue to have, you know, a problem here? Not just your problem, okay? Because what does happen is that if we go sideways for a period of time without pulling back, that is also very well. The, you know, the longer you stay at the top of a trend, the higher the probability is that you're going to break that on the way up, or if you're a trend on the way down going sideways, that's the higher probability there. That bottom line is that you're going to go south. You know, so um, you know, there's there's really. Uh, it's going to get interesting. The whole thing's going to get interesting. The, the, the bond market is the biggest deal out here right now that is phenomenal, meaning that, you know, yeah, you get the Fed fund rate. Well, here, let me do this. Oh, this will be cool. Let me do this. So if I go, yeah, you want to, let's see. If I can do this quick. WB, world bonds. If you want to see how this inversion works, right? Spreads. Can I do a curve? Let me see this. Yeah, here we go. Here's the curve. Look at this. Isn't this cool? So check this out. So here's the curve. So the top one you're looking at here, right? So you get the two-year. This is pretty sick. The two-year is at 3.02%. The 10 is at 26 <laughs> And the 30 is at 2.9. So yeah, that's, that's the inversion. That's the inversion that people are talking about. That the and the way that uh, inversion goes is the, you know, the bottom line is that you, when you get markets that invert, whether it's, you know, a year, a year and a half later, a year and a half is a little too long, a year later, uh, bottom line, you can come in with a recession. Because that, that's what this is saying right here, that they will sell you a 10-year cheaper than a two-year. And what would mean by that is that the bottom line is that they think that as we move forward, okay, that the bottom line is that things are slowing down. And so there's not as many people that are going to be going to get money, and there's not as much production. So the bottom line is that they got to bring the rates down in order to push paper out. It's all about pushing paper out, folks. That's the way you always got to think about it. You know, and I'm, there's not like one person that pushes paper out. It's all of us trading every single day. That's how this works. Dow Industrials right now down 59. You get the Nasdaq up 47. S&P's a flat. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. This coming Wednesday, August 10th, Basil Chapman will be hosting an all-day live webinar from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Eastern Time, where he'll be presenting the technical tools based on the Chapman Wave methodology, a full in-depth course on his entire trading system. Over the five hours of live education, Basil will discuss studying and practicing entry and exit points, assessing where to add or subtract from positions, utilizing simple technical tools for holding positions longer, taking bear charts and adding notations, tools, and patterns, as well as identifying identifying three core formations that repeat in every time frame and much more. When you sign up, you get a chart booklet emailed to you immediately to start studying and you gain access to his daily newsletter, The Opening Call, a $149 value. The cost to attend is only $295 and the full five hours will be archived. Don't miss this live special event Wednesday, August 10th with Basil Chapman. For all the details and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 81. You get the NASDAQ up 34. S&Ps are off uh, five and a half. So let's look inside these indices and see what is moving them around. Uh, we'll go to the Dow Industrials first, take a look at it, because the bottom line, you get a sideways market out here. So inside the Dow Industrials, point-wise out here today, you have uh, Visa putting uh, 33 positive points, 3M27, American Express 12. Taken away from it, United Health 37, Walmart 30, uh, Chevron 23. Inside of the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Uh, Mercado Libre, 16% up. That's a big number, man, particularly on a $1,000 stock. Uh, it's trading out at 1033 right now, up uh, $143. Uh, AMD, uh, Advanced Micro, that's up 5.5%. You got Match.com up 4%. Uh, Moderna's up 4 And Moderna was up yesterday, too, so pretty intense. Uh, Taken away from it, what the heck is this? Oh, F Fortnite. Fortnite's down 16%. Man, that's a hit. 16%. Lucent's down 10. You got Palo Alto. That seems that's having a hard time. That's down five and a half percent. And you get eBay down um, five percent also. Let me just look at eBay for a second here, man. Did that just? It did. It gave up everything. Yeah, this is interesting though. See, this gave up everything, but this is still not a bad setup, man. Come out with their numbers yesterday, took the swing out, 2.8 million versus 2.8, same deal. That's not, that's not a bad setup, yeah. That's, that's the real bottom line when you take a look at it. Amazon, let's go take a look at Amazon for the few of the tigers out here. Uh, Amazon right now, you are trading. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Amazon, Gap Tire. Oh, remember I was talking about this? Oh my, hey, so check this out. So <laughs> before Amazon came out with the numbers, right? I, that, that morning I was talking about if you get the gap on the other side. Amazon folks, okay, yeah, uh, Amazon's a buy, man. That you, you don't get to see this. This is, when you have gaps on both sides, that's, this is an island bottom, man. And it's huge, it's huge. It starts from, uh, April 29th going all the way over to the 7th. This is a very positive sign, man. That's the bottom line. That's, you know, I, I've i seen these, okay, but I haven't seen something like this for a long period of time. So it's a heads up, man. It's a heads up, there's no doubt. Uh, you had more, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see what Morgan Stanley has to say. What happened is that Morgan Stanley is, is it Morgan Stanley or JP Morgan? Let's see, hold on. One of them, no, it's J.P. Morgan. Okay, so J.P. Morgan is saying markets appear to have moved on from the furious debate on what is the right definition of a recession. The U.S. economic downturn looks increasingly less likely to, in the eyes of the stock market according to a measure of recession probabilities created by J.P. Morgan and Chase. Uh, bottom line, in fact, with the exception of base metals, pricing of major markets suggests even odds are less uh, of one beginning after the U.S. economy shrunk for the second straight quarter together. Equity, credit, market rates have assigned a 40% probability to a U.S. recession down from 50. Well, 
let's say this is that's better. Forty percent is better than fifty. Um, it seems that there's enough jobs out here um, that you have to work through these jobs first, man. That's what it seems to me. You have to work through the jobs in order to um, basically get into a recession. Now, what there's going to happen, there's no doubt about that, the folks that haven't been working, you know, if they decide to go get a job, yeah, they'd probably be gone by then. And, you know, we'll see what happens with that. You know, that may never change, man. I mean, you know, I'm not quite sure that how those folks are going to basically live. They're going to probably live off everyone else. Um, you know, but <laughs> the reality is, is that right now, you know, there's still more jobs than there are people. And what it does take for a real recession is just the opposite. That's, that's the reality, because as soon as that happens, you know, what we have seen now, that being said, what we have definitely have seen is that, you know, you get 200 laid off here, 300 laid off here, 500 laid off here. Uh, they're not in the thousands, which is a good one. One of them this week was in the thousands. I forget which one, but the, most of them are two or 300. Now, needless to say, if you're part of the two or 300, it's a freaking disaster for you. That, that's for sure, because this is a bad time to go try to get something else, especially for the firms that are laying those folks off. Um, you know, maybe we got to consolidate for a while. Maybe we got to go sideways for a while. Um, it seems to me that the, the good news is that um, if the market is right, um, it still helps, meaning when I say the market's right, if the bond market is right, okay, because the bond market basically uh, is turning around, you know, driving these rates down. If the bond market is right, it's still really good because what has happened is that what it's doing is bringing the rates down so the amount of debt that is out there, the interest structure on that debt is less. And, you know, that makes a difference, man. That's, that's the real bottom line. Let's go take a look at this S&P because what you have here, you're down seven and a half right now. And what very well could happen, you know the first get-go down this morning, folks? That has some volume down there. And that's what it probably wants to do. See this one right here? There it is. That's on the S&P, it's 4136, and that's a high volume low. That's laying there. So we'll see whether it can make it down into that level um, at the close, but it very well might. Uh, what we haven't got, let me see this here. So you get three, uh, eight minutes into this bar, and all of these bars have been pretty consistent, you know, uh, out here today. You know, so, you know, it's been, if you're in, been in front of a machine, it's, you know, been Pretty cool day. It looks like the the S and P's haven't moved, but because you've moved inside a range, it really doesn't matter whether you're a bull or bear today. You know, if you're a bull, you could take it on the way up as long as you you know get fast fingers. You didn't even have to have that fast of fingers today. If you're a bear, the bottom line selling at the top of so these was pretty cool too. So we'll see how this is going to shake out tomorrow. Now, if we go look and just put this. Spy, yeah, it's just gonna lay right there, man. That's what's going on. Just laying there. It's laying there, waiting for tomorrow morning to see how this baby's gonna shake out. If we go into the cues, you take a look at the cues here. The cues. Yeah, the cues already launched, man. The cues, the cues, the cues to me want this 3:30, and right now you're at uh, 3:23. You know, and what has happened is that. Uh, 317, yeah, in, inside of the, um, the queues, what has actually happened is that you actually got um, to the higher level. That's how this is shaken out. You actually have got to the higher level, which is, which is a big deal. That's, that's the bottom line, because you're in a higher level, that's saying, hey man, I wanna go. Let's go take a look at Microsoft, because Microsoft, no doubt, is a mover inside of the NDX 100. And that's still, that's still going higher. Amazon's going higher. Um, let's go take a look at one of the dogs, Netflix. Netflix has been uh, doing a hammering, there's no doubt about that. And yeah, Netflix is still moving sideways. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I know. Sorry. Yeah, I'm very sorry, folks. I just gotta sell these for <laughs> one second. I'm sorry, man. There we go. Bye. Bye. Awesome. Welcome back, folks. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You got the uh, Dow down 75, Nasdaq's up 42, S and P's uh, down four and a half. You're gonna have a sideways move out here. So let's go take a look at the indice volume right now. You have, uh, well, you have 587. So this is really going to be shot volume in a big way. So that'll come in about, it should do 800. Uh, yesterday what we did, we did uh, 899. And what we did have yesterday, so inside, yesterday what we had is that the NASDAQ, you can see that when the NASDAQ went higher yesterday, see that 5.611? That's a big number, man. So what we had done, we had gone higher. We did it with volume. So if we go over and we take a look at right now, if we take a look at the uh, composite. What you're going to see with the composite out here, uh, bottom line is that was a wide price spread, and that that went higher, and it had volume behind the move. So that's saying this still wants to go. And I suspect more than likely what we're going to probably have out here tomorrow morning um, is we're probably going to have a decent number. And the the way that I'm looking at this, the reason I'm looking at it like this, is that. What ended up happening is this, so picture. The dollar, okay, has not done anything for the market today. And the dollar is down 800 ticks. 
So when you have that divergence, which, ha which happens a lot, by the way, okay, the bottom line, you get divergence. When that does happen, uh, what happens there is that the bottom line is that it'll catch up. And I suspect this dollar will end up catching up. That's, that's how this uh, shakes out, man. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your hot out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off. 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Meow! Go we'll get them, folks. Building wealth.